These leggings just give me like baddie vibes. This is what it looks like just square on. Being a bit size girl, it's very interesting trying them on. Results are slightly varying. Really, really enjoy these leggings. I feel like they're always flattering even when I don't have a glute pump. Navigation, a brand that is super focused on aesthetics and just glute popping while still keeping things generally affordable. Their leggings are usually around $50 and their sports bras are usually under 30. But of course, with looks and lower prices, you do have to wonder what the quality is like. So in this video, we're gonna do a deep dive into some of Navigation's popular items, including leggings and sports bras and shorts. We're gonna go over sizing, features, material, price, glute aesthetics, whether or not it's cellulite friendly, squat proof, all those good things. So very excited to do my first review of Navigation on this channel. If you are new here, my name is Veronica. Welcome to my channel. We make videos on fashion and beauty. Feel free to subscribe and join the family. We would love to have you. And if you do like this video, feel free to hit that like button, especially if you're a fellow girly, because sometimes legging reviews attract the wrong demographic that we don't want here. If you were a creepy old man, get on out, please. As a quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored in any way. Navigation has no idea who I am and that I'm making this video. They did not send me these items either. I'm just making my own to review on items I purchased myself. Other than that, let's just go ahead and get into this review and see what items we have. Let's get it. Here are my measurements for your reference and they will always be listed in the description box for you as well. For the first item, we have the Curve Seamless Leggings in this beautiful royal blue color. Very gorge. Definitely one of their most popular legging options. Going into it, you do have a pretty thick band here and there's no like different tiers of compression. It's all the same amount of compression. As you can see, it's pretty like squared off. There's not any tapering going on. This is the front. There's no front seam. I don't think Navigation has front seam in any of their leggings. You do have a gusset as well, which is slightly extended, but not by too much. And it's supposed to just help with comfort when you're wearing this legging. And then just a pretty standard length. It is, oh, oh my God. It is extremely stretchy. So I'm 5'8 and I have no issues with length here just because there's so much vertical stretch. In the back, their logo is embroidered and you do have some little smileys under the glutes just to help with contouring. Another thing to note is you do have like a little triangle here, which just is supposed to add more definition to your glutes. And the Curve Seamless Leggings do not have any other contouring on the sides like some of their leggings do. Even just holding it up, you can see there's some extra fabric for the glutes here. So your glutes should not be squished in this if you get the right size, but the waistband still feels pretty structured. It also has decent horizontal stretch as well, which is great for the thighs. And again, these are seamless leggings, so you don't really have any seams on the side or anything like that. Just a pretty clean look other than the smiley faces underneath. I did get a size small in these and they are 13% spandex, 87% nylon. I am a medium girly, so I'm in between small and medium, just depending on the brand. So opted for a small with these. We'll go ahead and see if I made the right choice. Let's go ahead and try these on. Here is the Curve Seamless Leggings. Very cute, not my favorite leggings that I own, but I will go into the details on why, but let's just go ahead and get into it. We'll do a quick 180. Bang. Starting off with the waistband, I did get a size small and this waistband for sure is very compressive. As you can see, it's slightly sandwiching and giving me rolls, which honestly is totally fine. It's obviously very natural for your body to do that. But if that's something you're self-conscious about or you carry more weight in your midsection, I would recommend sizing up if you're in between rather than sizing down like I did. The rest of the material is extremely thin and very, very stretchy. I will say it feels very sleek, definitely no brushing whatsoever with this material. I find that this material is very gym friendly. So if you're looking for something that really holds you in and shapes every part of your curves, but you want it to be performance friendly, I definitely would recommend this. I do have a lower tummy and in terms of lower tummy control, I think this does a really good job of that. Of course, it's extremely compressive, so I would hope so. I find that it stops right here, so it does cover a little bit of my tummy. For the front, we don't have any kind of camel toe issues. It did take some work to put these leggings on and situate them right because they're so thin. So if you are wearing underwear and you don't mindfully put these leggings on, you for sure will get a camel toe, but I have a very, very thin seamless on underneath and I did take my time putting these on and it's all good to go. Can't see the gusset, don't have a camel toe. 
and it does stay in place. People do say navigation gives that Barbie crotch effect, which is just the V-line, which is totally normal. It's just anatomy, so it's not anything that I think you should be self-conscious about, and I definitely am not, but if you are hesitant to have that, then just be mindful. For the back here, we can see that smiley under glute feature, and then we do have the little peak right here as well, just to help highlight the upper glutes. I definitely don't have the roundest glutes, don't get me wrong, so I'm not like the ideal model for these leggings, but I do think they're still pretty flattering. Because the material is so thin, it really clings to you. If you have hip dips like I do, these leggings will highlight that, but if you have cellulite, the marl in these leggings will help conceal that. And of course, I would opt for a darker color if you are self-conscious of cellulite. It does take work, getting these leggings up and situated but once you do the under glute contour does stay in place when you squat move around it's not going to shift and look weird so that's very good if you are tall like i am you can just stretch it down in terms of horizontal stretch there is a little bit of that as well so thick guy friendly lots of space for the glutes again i'm a medium and i size down in these i will say this is my first time actually wearing this pair of leggings and i do find them to be a little bit small i kind of wish i sized up the next pair of leggings I show you is very similar to this and is also the same size and I feel good in those but for whatever reason and maybe it's the color I definitely feel like these are slightly too small might be because I just need to wear them more and stretch them out a little bit just keep that in mind if you're in the middle you could kind of go either way I think the biggest factor is whether or not you want this midsection to really get cinched in or if you carry more weight up here then I would definitely size up but the bottom portion of this leggings is very forgiving but honestly, I find these to be really cute. Love the color. They're definitely meant to be a glute aesthetic kind of legging, but the fabric is also not delicate. So this is really good for the gym. For the next legging, we have Navigation's Contour Seamless Legging, which is another really popular legging choice. I did get these Contour Seamless Leggings in khaki green, and honestly, they are very similar to the Curve Seamless Leggings, but I will show you like kind of the differences as well. So looking at the front, the waistband honestly is exactly the same. Crotch gusset is exactly the same, and of course there's no seam in the front. It is seamless, so there's no seams in the side. Length is the same. The back the logo is exactly the same. Still have those under the cheek smileys for contouring and that little peak here as well. The only difference with these contour leggings compared to the curved seamless leggings that I know of is the side contour here. It just goes all along the thigh and you can see it a little bit in the back as well. Interestingly enough, this pair doesn't have any information inside. There's zero tags or anything to give any indication on what size you got or even the material makeup. So a little bit weird on the production side of things, but I do know that these are the exact same material makeup with the spandex and the nylon as the last leggings. They feel exactly the same. And I just looked it up and it's exactly the same. I did also get this in a size small. Let's go ahead and try these leggings on and just see how they compare to the regular curve seamless. So here we have those contour seamless leggings. We'll do a quick little 180. We have that compressive waistband. Again, it is pretty squared. I will say it's not tapered, but because it is super compressive, it definitely sucks in that tummy. You can see a little bit of sandwiching here, but it doesn't feel like this is pinching me. It's just something that'll happen if you're sitting down. In terms of lower tummy control, I do have a little bit of a lower tummy and I find that this is pretty good at compressing it. This is a one tier waistband, as I mentioned before. And then the rest of the legging is this very, very thin and stretchy material. So you have a lot of room for your hips and your glutes. I'm wearing a small, so this is my smaller size between small and medium, but I feel very comfortable and I definitely feel secure where I need to. Here you can see that contour that these leggings are known for. Very cute, just adds a little something. I think it's just supposed to bring some movement and attention to your hips and your thighs. This is what it looks like profile wise with the contour and then turning around, we can see what it's doing with the glutes. This is what it looks like just square on. 
In terms of length, again, I am 5'8", these do not come in like a longer inseam or anything like that. They are very stretchy, so I can literally pull them down. It's really not a big deal, so definitely still friendly for tall girlies. These leggings just give me like baddie vibes, and it's definitely something I only wear when I feel extremely confident, because I will say they are very thin. I do think the Mara helps with cellulite and hip dip coverage, but again, the material is super thin, so there's only so much it can do. But if you're looking for something that's very thin, sushi and gluten enhancing. I would say these are definitely worth trying. So for our next item, we do have one more legging to show, but quickly I wanted to show you the contour seamless in the shorts option, just because I just showed you the legging version. So it just makes sense to throw in the shorts really quickly here. Honestly, makeup wise, they're obviously exactly like the contour seamless. They're just shorter because they're shorts. You still have the exact same features in the back with the smileys, the little peak, and you still have those contours on the sides. I did get this in a size medium, so it'll be interesting to see like size difference. Typically I size up to a medium in shorts since I'm in between a small and a medium just to give more room for my thighs. The contour seamless leggings again were $48 just like the first leggings and these in contrast are $30 for the short version. As you can see it's a size medium and the material is 13% spandex and 87% nylon which is the exact same material makeup as the first leggings. I measured the inch seam of these shorts to be about five inches so definitely on the shorter side so we will see how they do squatting and rolling and things like that. Not too much to say with the shorts since they're pretty much the same as the leggings but in short form so let's just go ahead and quickly put these on that way you can see what the shorts look like. So we have the contour seamless shorts in a size medium and off the bat you can see they are a longer short so about six inches almost actually so great if you are a girly who hates those like four inch shorts that always roll up because these definitely will not roll up if you keep them down here. We'll do a quick 180. So let's get right into it. Waistbands exactly the same as leggings. However, obviously I sized up with these shorts. So I do find that this is less compressive. Still very compressive though. Like don't get me wrong. I feel like navigation is really built for the itty waist girlies. So being a bit sized girl, it's very interesting trying them on and seeing how they work. Results are slightly varying, but all of them are definitely compressive no matter what. If you hate compression in your waist, definitely do not buy any of these leggings, to be honest. In terms of that lower belly control. I do find that it still works even though I sized up to a medium. This is still super compressive but this is definitely a hundred percent more comfortable than that royal blue liking that I first showed you. With that size up though there is like a lot of extra fabric here that I don't experience when I size down to a small. Again this fabric very very thin but durable good for working out you could do deadlifts in this and rub the bar against it you'll be good like the legging you have that contour here and then in the back you still have the little smile lines underneath and that little bow at the top to highlight the top of your glutes in this gray color i find the smile lines not to be as prominent and they definitely kind of get lost in the extra fabric underneath because i sized up like i mentioned this is a longer short so if you squat you're not gonna find anything rolling up at all, but you will find, again, <laughs> that extra fabric just kind of being highlighted, so just keep that in mind. I do find the short version of the seamless contour leggings to be more camel toe prone. It was definitely a lot harder to situate it, so there was no camel toe, but honestly, it's really small, not super noticeable unless someone's being a creep and staring at you, so I do prefer shorter shorts, so let's try shifting them up and see what they look like. So this is kind of the length I prefer my shorts to be in and of course since I sized up and just the nature of this fabric and how thin it is, there's definitely like a lot of extra lines and fabric here. If you have thick thighs, this is very stretchy, so super thick thigh friendly. Overall, I find these shorts to be super cute, definitely glute enhancing as they're meant to be and sizing up definitely made me feel more comfortable in the midsection, so I'm gonna consider doing that if you're okay with the extra fabric just kind of in this midsection. Next up, we have the camo seamless leggings. 
which I think are probably my favorite item from navigation so far. So super excited to share with you. In terms of the waistband, it is again, a very squared off thick waistband, same tier, no different types of compression, but still the waistband itself is really compressive. All of the waistbands in the leggings and shorts in this video are the same height and length as well. In navigation fashion, there's no front seam and there's no seams on the side because of course, seamless legging makes sense. And their gusset is exactly the same as the other just slightly extended. In the back, again, you still have the embroidered navigation logo. And there's actually no contours in the back going on. There's no smileys. There's no side contour. It's just that camo print. It's a little bit hard to see here, but this is a size small. And the material makeup for the camo seamless is different than the other leggings. It's actually 68.7% nylon, 22% polyester, and I think this says 9.3% spandex. So if that math is mathing, there you go. Definitely very stretchy. I would say these leggings actually feel thicker than the other two options. They also feel stretchier too, which makes sense with that polyester in there. To me, even though there's polyester in there, it does feel like this is better quality. It's kind of more my jam, this type of makeup. Even though the material is different, this is the same price point. It's $48. Very excited to show this to you. Let's go ahead and try these leggings on. So here we have the camo leggings, honestly, probably one of my favorite items in this entire haul. Let's do a quick 180. Getting right into it, this is a size small, just like the other leggings, but I definitely feel way less restricted in these leggings. There is definitely room. I know that there were a little polyester in here, and I think that's what's making it a little bit stretchier. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely still compressive. I do get some lower tummy control here, but I just don't feel like I'm being as sandwiched in as the other leggings. With the front, I also feel like there's less Barbie crotch with these leggings. The material is definitely thicker and different than the other contour leggings. You still are prone to camel toe with these leggings. You've got to just situate them the right way and wear some seamless underwear and you'll be good to go. In terms of the back, we definitely have some glute separation still. This material, although slightly thicker and different, still goes right in between the cheeks. You don't have any contouring, but you do have this print that helps conceal any hip dips and cellulite. So with this material and the print, it's definitely gonna be way more friendlier in that aspect. And I find it just to be way more flattering. This is what it looks like more straight on. Really, really enjoy these leggings. I feel like they're always flattering even when I don't have a glute pump. In terms of the length, it's still very stretchy, so tall girl friendly, and you do have still a lot of horizontal stretch too. Interestingly enough, I find there's still like extra fabric with these leggings, even though they're a size small. So if you're in between, I would still very much size down. I don't really recommend sizing up in these leggings at all. Overall, very solid legging. I highly recommend this one. quickly, I wanted to show you the shorts version of the camo seamless legging. I don't remember what color I got this in or what this is called, but it looks like khaki green. The features of these shorts are exactly the same as the camo seamless legging. I measured the inseam of these shorts to be just shy of six inches, so definitely a little bit of a longer shorts. I personally like to hike them up a little bit and make them shorter, but if you are someone who hates like the five inch, four inch shorts, this could still be a good option for you. Other than that, again, all the features are the same, no contrast tours, just the print. So let's go ahead and try these shorts on and see how they look. Here are the camo shorts. So these are a size small rather than my usual medium in shorts. Definitely think I made a good choice. They don't feel restrictive or too small for me because this material is just so dang stretchy. You can see like right off the bat, they're longer. Like I said, they're about six inches. I don't find that they ride up when I squat as long as I keep them here. After a few squats, they're still that same length. We'll do a quick little spinny. Whee! With the waistband, I find that this is not as restrictive as a lot of navigation waistbands, although this is a size small. This material just is way stretchier, thicker as well. You still have some lower tummy control, but this is all the same compression. And I don't find I'm being sandwiched as much in these shorts. What I actually prefer doing with these shorts is kind of rolling them slightly, just because I have this tattoo here. And I'm just like not a long short girly. Just shifting them up slightly, I feel like I prefer this look personally. Of course, you get that extra material here. I just live with it. 
boom. In terms of the back, of course, you have that camo print, which is really good at helping conceal cellulite. And I do find that this material is still really good at going in between the cheeks and being flattering. And of course, I'll include the squat proof overview, but I will say already, this is a thick material and it's darker in camo, so you will have zero worries with it being see-through. In terms of the thighs, this is very thick thigh friendly. Again, extremely stretchy, so absolutely no worries there. These shorts are honestly one of my go-to legging day shorts. They're just very comfortable, and I do feel like they're very flattering. Definitely a win for me, and honestly, the camo seamless line shorts leggings are probably my top pick and recommendation. For the next item, we actually have a sports bra. This is their Invincible Seamless Sports Bra, and this is in a size medium and the color taupe. Going into some of these features, as you can see, it's not a super long line sports bra. In the back, you actually have these strappy features, which is amazing for back day. You do have relatively thin straps. Of course, you do have inserts for bust pads. You can see it's kind of poking out a little bit. Let's just put that right back in. You have a seam in the middle that keeps the bust pads separated, which is awesome. And then you do have some ribbing underneath the bust here. I'm sure just to help with security. I got this bra mostly because of that strappy feature in the back. I just thought it would look sick for back day. I got this in a size medium. I have a 32 double D chest. So we'll definitely go over whether or not this is big chest friendly. For the material, which is very faintly printed here, it's 6% spandex and 94% nylon. And there's actually zero navigation labels here. It's a very like simple, plain, plain bra. I actually always forget that this is navigation. So very good bra if you are not interested in having any logos on your sports bra. Other than that, let's go ahead and try this on so we can see what it looks like. So here we have the sports bra, and as we can see, it actually has really good coverage, even though I do have a bigger chest and this is more of a strappy bra. In the back, this is what it looks like. Very open back great for back day. One of my favorite back day bras. Really love this color. I just feel like it goes well with pretty much anything. It's very neutral. You do have these thinner straps, which are uncomfortable after a few hours. So keep that in mind. I really just have it for a workout and then I move on to a different type of bra if I'm just relaxing. Pretty good side boob coverage, I would say. I definitely don't feel like I'm going to fall out of it. Very low support though. Don't get me wrong. This is not a bra I would ever run in. You do have those cut pads that shape your chest nicely and and of course you can take them out if you wish but overall very cute bra honestly i'm just obsessed with it because of the back if you're in between i would size up if you have a bigger chest if you don't i would size down but otherwise i would say stick to, with your true size it really could go kind of either way it has a very stretchy material i personally opted to size up And I guess the last item to show you is this top that I have on right now, which is their really standard tube top. I couldn't find the details on this before the video, but if I find it while editing, I'll put it all on the screen for you. But I know this is still available on their site, so I figured it was worth an honorable mention. I really like the color, and then you do have the logo in the back here. All of this is ribbed, very compressive. I got this in a size medium to accommodate my chest size, and it does have bust pads as well that help shape the girls. Of course, you can take the bust pads out if you'd like, but just a quick honorable mention in case you were looking for a good tube top. I love this one. It's very compressive, but not in a bad suffocating way. For me, I hate tube tops where I can't like jump around and I feel like they're going to like flip over. This one doesn't do that at all. It's actually like my favorite tube top that I purchased. Check it out if you're interested. So that is gonna conclude this navigation review. I hope you enjoyed it and you got something out of this review that was helpful. This was such a fun review to make and I'm really excited to see you in my next video. If you have any recommendations on other brands I should try, feel free to leave your comments down below. Or if you have questions about any of these items, I try to answer any questions I get. Other than that, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.